Hi guys, it's Emily. Welcome back to my channel. I am super excited to share this with you today. Um, yesterday I was, you know, minding my own business, crafting, <laughs> as I usually do. And my lovely husband sent me a video that he found, well, just, you know, like, I guess scrolling Facebook. It was just one of those like little quick videos. Um, kind of weird that it would show up on his feed, but uh, you know, whatever. Anyway, he sent it to me and I literally dropped everything I was doing um, to make the item that was in the video. And um, I am sort of addicted now and I am super excited to share it with you. So basically what I made are these adorable little handbags out of binder clips. So I have three different sizes here. This one might be my favorite. I can't decide. Let's see if I can get it to focus better. But how stinking adorable is that, right? Now they don't open, they're just for decoration, but my thought was how cute would these be added to a tassel um, on a journal? Like how adorable, right? And you can make them, you know, you're only limited by the size of binder clips you can find. So look at this one. I don't know, maybe this one's my favorite. Um, it has a little chain handle. Let's see if I can get it to focus. There we go. How stinking cute is that, right? I mean, it just looks like a little miniature handbag. I absolutely love these. And they're really not that difficult to make. Um, you know, <laughs> and the possibilities are sort of endless. This one kind of upset me a bit um, just because of the way the glue um, I used. What did I use for this? Oh, I used Fabri-Tac. So, you know, it kind of got icky where it got onto the felt, but I still love it. I mean, it's got like a little braided handle, right? I mean, how cute is that? So now I need to get binder clips that aren't black. Um, this one, I actually, I used some alcohol ink and it, I mean, it was a black binder clip. So, you know, you can't really tell, but I put some brown alcohol ink on it just to try and tone down the black, but you know, whatever, it doesn't really matter. What you have is what you have, right? But oh, I mean, I just, oh my gosh, seriously. <laughs> if you've if you've been um, with me since, you know, for a while, you know my love of anything miniature. So, all right, I am going to show you how to make these because they're really not that difficult. Um, and you know, like I said, you could use any material. So this one is felt and I didn't really decorate it a whole lot. I just added um, the little bling, like a closure at the top. Um, and then this one is actually paper. I just used scrapbook paper and it had like a lacy um, pattern on the scrapbook paper. And then this one is also felt. And then I just added this rosette so I had this in my stash. Oh, it's sticking to everything now. My desk is a mess, but um, I got these at Tuesday morning. So they're all kinds of cord and chain and different you know, materials. They're perfect for the handles. So that's what I used um, for the handles. All right, so super simple. You need a binder clip. Any size binder clip will do. I'm using a sort of medium size for demonstration purposes because A, it's what I have the most of, and B, it's um, much easier to see than the super tiny one. So hopefully um, you can tell what I'm doing. So the first thing you wanna do, um, I guess, it depends on what you're gonna use as your, um, your handle. So like this one and the super teeny tiny one, I actually just clamped the um, the handle inside the binder clip. So you have to do that ahead of time before you take the little um, metal things off. Um, or you can do it this way where it's showing on the outside. And if you do it that way, you can take off the, um, the little 
clippy thingies um, ahead of time. So I'm not entirely sure and they can always be put back on. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take them off and then we'll decide kind of as we go. They just, I don't, I probably should have, they just, you just squeeze them. Oh, yeah, my horrible hand strength. But basically you just, you know, squeeze it kind of like that and they pop right out. So they can go back in. So if you decide that you, you know, you want your, your handle to be something on the inside, you can always put it back in. Um, I have a handy sanding block here and um, I just sand down the surface that I'm gonna glue to. Because with the, with the paper, um, I used Fabri-Tac to adhere it, but with the felt, I used my um, glue, uh, hot glue. But you just want, you know, just rough it up a little bit because hot glue tends to um, not want to stick to really smooth metal surfaces. I didn't have any trouble with the felt, um, so doing it this way. All right, so basically I've just, you know, removed some of the surface and that is now ready to go. And now I have dust all over my desk. Okay, and then I just have a piece of felt, just super cheap, you know, like however much that felt is at like Hobby Lobby. Um, and you just wanna make sure that you have a big enough piece to wrap around the whole thing, which I have way more than I need, but that's fine. And you just want it to be, you know, long enough this way so that you can cover up the sides. All right, so my glue gun is misbehaving, but hopefully it will um, be okay for today. Anyway, I just kind of spread it around quickly. And then I just, whoops, lay that down all the way to the top here. Smooth it down really well. Like that. And then we will add, I kind of just go in here if there's like extra seeping out, you know, on the sides. Um, it just, once it dries, it might be more difficult to, uh, you know, um, fold that edge up. You can even go in, like I have a little chunk there. Do you see that? Like I'll cut that off because it's just gonna make it more difficult when I try to fold up the ends and we don't want that. It might look bumpy. All right, and then I'm just gonna add the glue to the bottom. You wanna make sure that you get the, um, like the, the rounded edges pretty well. Just again, just push that, you know, just secure it nicely. And a little bit of seepage in there. So my fingers no longer feel heat usually. So I just go in and grab it. <laughs> if you're worried about burning yourself, um, be more cautious than me. All right. And then you have to just determine where it needs to be. Um, cut and um yeah it's just kind of a an eyeball thing um and then i just take don't want it to go over
and I cut a little too much, but that's okay because we can probably um, hide it um, by decorating it. But yeah, that that was, it, I cut a little too much and it's crooked, but I'm, I'm okay with that because we're gonna decorate it and I'll just hide that. Whatever I use to decorate it, um, we'll just make sure that it covers that edge so you can't tell that I messed up, right? Oops, and I got glue on the outside. I really hate hot glue um, with a passion. Oh goodness, it's all over me. Um, <laughs> It is my least favorite craft item. If if I ever had one, it is definitely it. I hate it. I hate the strings. I hate everything about it. Um, but sometimes it is the most practical or the fastest, let's go with that, um, solution. And especially for a video like this. Okay, so then you want to go in and trim um, up against just just from the top to the bottom. Don't cut um, don't cut this part here, okay? Because that's gonna we're gonna fold that up, but you just want to cut down these sides and. It's, you know, I use a pretty dinky pair of scissors so I can get as close as possible. Um, these don't seem to want to cut today. That's nice. Uh, there we go. Okay. And then I'm going to add a little bit of just, whoops, art glitter glue, which I'm still angry at, but I think it'll work for what I needed to do right now. I just, I have a little bit here that didn't, didn't glue quite properly. So there we go. All right, so see we're left with this flap here, okay? And you've got your open binder clip there, okay? I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Just like that. And I've got a little bit of hot glue there that I'm just going to snip off. And then the same thing over here. there. All right, there we go. You just want it to be, it, it doesn't have to be perfect, obviously, but um, I just try to trim it the best I can. All right, so we've got it looking like this now, okay? And I'm just going to use, um, I'm going to use my hot glue this time, I think, because that's what I did the first time. So this is a tad um, tricky. <laughs> you just want to, well, maybe I'll use the, oh, I don't know what to use. Um, trying to decide what's going to be best. I don't want it to be all yucky. What I did before so let's just try it. Let's just see what happens. Is I kind of held my glue gun, you know, away from the edge and just sort of added uh, the glue there and then uh, just press that down into the glue and it should be fine. Just leave, leave that for a minute and we'll do the other side. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Go 
glue strings everywhere. All right. All right, I think I did a pretty good job. And when you trim, you trim this off, if there's any glue that seeped out, it should, um, you should be able to cut it off. But I don't, I don't even see any right now. So that's, that's good. All right, and then um, I just cut, I like to leave it right below the little, like, you know, the top of the binder clip. Uh, better scissors for this. I'm at such a weird angle. It's um, difficult. I'm not going to cut all of it. I'm just going to cut that down and then I can trim it after I've trimmed the sides. So again, I just kind of go at a rounded, um, you know, here at the bottom, just kind of round that off. And then I just cut right up, right up the side and you can, you know, trim it however you'd like. So you get a nice, a nice edge there. And then I do the same thing on this side. Um, just a little trickier. Let me go from the top. There we go. And then you can just kind of slide your scissors in and take off that top bit like that. And I just trim until I like how it looks, get all the extra strings and stuff off of there. Just a little bit too much on this side. There we go. Okay, try to make that kind of focus better. All right, and then we'll do the other side, same way. So I just trim it there. Well, you can see what I'm doing. It's a little weird. That was good. All right. And then just take off. Oh, come on. <laughs> All right. And, you know, like I said, just, just trim it until you're happy with how it looks. And, you know, we're going to decorate it. So um, I'm not terribly concerned with that top part. Um, All right. So there you have your covered binder clip that side looks awful just don't look at that okay so it looks it already looks like a little handbag oh I don't like that side okay let me get rid of some of this stuff off my desk here all right now I think we will trim this like around the top with some bling. So, let's see, what do I have here? I have all kinds of stuff, but I think I'm gonna use the black, um, like faux diamond stuff. And let's see. I don't know how much we'll need to go around. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take off this section here. Now I am going to, what am I going to use? What should we use to glue this? See how it'll, it'll cover sort of your, um, imperfections. All right, let's use, 
What do I want to use for this? Um, I think... I'm trying to decide. I'm not sure. Let's use... I guess we'll use Fabri-Tac. I'm not sure if that's the best idea, but it seems to make sense in my head right now. Just, I'm gonna try really hard not to get a ton of it, which um, is sometimes easier said than done, but. gonna go ahead and I'm just trying really hard not to touch the felt with Fabri-Tac fingers because oh my gosh as soon as you get that on the felt it is not coming off but I think I'm doing okay and then finally just a little bit here oh, let me get that off the end just gonna need a little bit of holding all right I'm gonna let this dry and I will be right back all right so like a doofus um, I forgot to decide what I wanted to do for handles before I attached that but it's okay I was able to get the the metal clippies back in and I should be able to um, open it enough without destroying it. However, if you're going to make these, <laughs> I suggest you do it before you add anything um, to the top because, uh, yeah, I'm just, it's, I'm just going to let it sit for a second so it can, you know, um, finish drying. So for this one, let's see, um, what do we want to use? I'm not sure. Maybe, I like this stuff here. It's a little weird though, cause it comes, it like comes on, um, unrolled and then it's just not the same at all but I think I can probably just um, roll it back up I however don't know exactly how to cut it all right but let's just let's try and see if we can even get it in there so you just want to open it enough I don't even add glue because it it is really tight when you pinch it um, I just put a fair amount of extra down in there and like I said this would be way better to do um, ahead of time and I just put it kind of right here I'll show you in just a second I put it right where like that indentation is if you see right there there's an indentation so I add it right on that side and then I decide how much I want. And I 
going to cut it about down there. Um, I'm going to try, I really don't know how you're supposed to cut this. It's probably, maybe it's not even meant to be cut, but I'm just going to use, oh, there we go. That worked. Okay. No problem. All right. And then I'm just going to drop that in there and pinch that down. And then sometimes, you know, you have to go back and fix this side because it comes undone. There, and that should be fine. So now I'm gonna take these out again. And it didn't hurt anything, so that's good. There we go. And there you have your bag. Oh, is it gonna come undone? Let's not do that. Okay, I think it'll be fine. You're not gonna, you know, like tug around on it. If you feel better about adding some glue, to your handle by all means. Um, I didn't feel that it was really necessary because I'm, I'm tugging pretty hard and it's not coming off of there. All right, then you can decide how else you want to decorate it, really. Um, I'll probably add something to the front here. Let me, um, I'm not sure maybe a big like rhinestone piece would be pretty um, or maybe one of these let's cut this off here see what that looks like but honestly you know I mean you could do anything um, and it would be adorable if you had, like, I need to get some more, like some super tiny things, um, like buttons and, you know, things like that, like super tiny little embellishments would be adorable. Um, like some little rosettes even. Oh my gosh. How cute would that be? Yeah. I like that. That's cute. Okay. Let's add that on there. And I think I'll just use this is my little um, diamond painting tool. <laughs> it works great for this. Whoops. Well, I mean, it does until you. grab, you know, whatever. <laughs> there we go. All right. And we'll just there we go. Look at that. How stinking cute is that? Oh my gosh. Now the other ones I added feet. Um, you know how your, your nice handbags sometimes have um, like feet on the bottom. So I'm going to do that again. And I think for this one, I just used some metallic, um, seed beads. It's kind of perfect. So you get to watch me, um, try to handle seed beads, but, um, hopefully I will not mess it up terribly. Um, I just, I used art glitter glue for this. Otherwise, you just get way too much Fabri-Tac. And my little bottle of Fabri-Tac is missing. So I just add, you know, a decent, because it'll dry clear, so it's fine. I've just got my seed bead on there. And hopefully, well, I stuck it too hard. Hold on. And then there we go. Come on, you can do it. Okay. 
ini All right, that's it guys. And now you have an adorable little handbag that you can use as um, a charm or just something cute to sit on your desk. Or how adorable would a Christmas tree look with these all over it in multiple sizes, right? Oh my gosh. Yeah, <laughs> I think I'm going to be making a lot more of these in the future um, because they're just so darn cute and they really, I mean, I made that in what, a half hour? Like it really, they're not that difficult. Um, you know, they're a little fiddly, but I think it's definitely worth it. All right, guys. So, um, yeah, I am going to give this one away. This is going to be another super secret giveaway. And I want to give this to someone. So what you need to do to enter, you need to be a subscriber. So if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do. Um, and then um, hit the little notification bell so that you get notified when I upload well, any new content, but definitely so you get notified um, when I upload the giveaway announcement. Um, so you don't you don't want to miss out because I don't want to have to redraw. So definitely hit the bell. Um, like this video would be great. Um, I'm not going to check that, but it would be fabulous if you did. It really does help my channel. And then you need to leave a comment below this video and you need to use the word. Let's think. Um, I'm gonna come up with something that's not too easy <laughs> to make it a little more difficult, but I don't want it to be weird either. Um, let's use the word glamorous, okay? So glamorous, that will be the secret word that will get you entered into the giveaway. And then um, tomorrow, which is Wednesday, January 15th, I will um, use the YouTube random comment picker and uh, pick a winner and then I'll send this off to you. How cute. I hope you liked this. I hope you go make some of your own. Um, if you do, I'd love to see pictures. I have a Facebook group that would be perfect for that. Um, you can get the link to that in the description box below and you can uh, head on over and, um, and yeah, show me what you've made. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this, guys. I hope you have a fabulous day. I will be back soon. <clears throat> Excuse me. Take care of yourselves. Talk to you later. Bye.